Black Friday and Cyber Monday offers are back. And rather than giving you a wish list, I prefer to give you some tips before going out and spending a lot of your precious money. You work very hard to earn it and nobody wants to feel they wasted it in the wrong terms. No matter if you live in the US, Latin America, Canada, etc. These tips will apply pretty much anywhere. And by the way, I'm still working on two other videos. One related to one game of the year contender and the other one related to impatience and how that might be ruining your video game experience. But stay tuned on my channel. I will keep updating you on the posts and social media whenever those videos are ready. Hopefully by the end of the year. Anyways, on to the tips. Number one. Do not trust local offers to 100%. It is important that you do a little research, cross different local stores and online, and compare the prices. Sometimes stores extend offers they already had before, meaning they didn't have a Black Friday offer in the first place. Maybe they are still getting rid of fiscal year products. So it is important to, if you can, pay a visit to local stores before the offers start. You can also bargain for better deals on different stores. If you happen to find a better offer elsewhere, you can show it on another store and maybe they might have an arrangement for you. Number two, investigate their website and compare it to other stores. This might sound a bit redundant and obvious, but you will be surprised by how many times people ignore websites from local stores, companies, and classic ones like Amazon or even Best Buy. For instance, if I want to buy a new Samsung smartphone, I would rather check on the official company's website before going to other places before, because I know every year they will have great offers in Costa Rica my country of residence, if you didn't know where I'm from. Number three, use honey. This is not sponsored, although it may be in the future. Honey is a fantastic tool that lets you track deals of almost every product in every store you can think of. You can compare prices with other stores and track the price history. That way you might know for how long that product has been and if it is worth getting it during Black Friday. You will be shocked by how much some items go down after Black Friday even. Number four, buy stuff you truly see on discount. Again, Black Friday is a day to take advantage of the fiscal year and all the products that haven't been selling for the whole year. I don't think there's any deal if you buy new stuff, let's say Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. But for instance, I noticed games that were released for quite a bit, like Howard's Legacy and even Mortal Kombat 1 for much less. You can even pick some digital games with another friend for less, but it is all up to you. And number five, make sure to support the used market if possible. Just think about it. If other people like you want to look for more money to buy Black Friday deals, then I guess there might be a market for used items you might be able to look into rather than buying new stuff. You're helping the community to grow and save a dime while getting the product you want. But please make sure to ask in local communities about the perfect places to make businesses, whether it is Facebook, Discord, or Reddit. If you have to see the item, make sure it is a public place or do not go alone. Also make sure to check on the seller's reputation. How many stars does it have? Does he or she have good comments about it on previous sales? I hope this short advice will help you out in this crazy season. And if you want to know more about the Switch or a PlayStation before getting it, feel free to check these videos. And obviously don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to see future updates and I hope I can have enough time to release these two videos so you can enjoy because I obviously I want to have video game guides or tips like this one but obviously I want to share things like video game essays like some game of the year releases that I have been trying and I want to give my opinion about it just like the old days you know 
Anyways, thank you so much. Leave in the comments what things you are looking for. Maybe I could give a hand and take care.